hi everybody welcome to my vlog so yesterday i had this cool idea to film a vlog just take you behind the scenes of what i do so the situation is that i came back to belgium almost a month no actually a month ago right before the quarantine and i was trying to find the job but it was impossible i'm still looking for a job it's pretty hard to find job in the office so i'm still struggling with that but you know i decided to spend my free time on actually developing myself and working on myself and learning new skills and working on the content for my platform so this is why i decided to take you behind the scenes and i just want to show that you still can create content with limited space with limited amount of tools work with your phone be creative while you do that it is very challenging it is very hard and sometimes it's also very discouraging it would be way easier to have a good camera a microphone people to help you all the lights and maybe even a separate studio but i think we all have to start somewhere and i do believe it's better to start in your tiny room and wait for this perfect moment to film because that actually might never even happen. I just wanted to talk a little bit of what I actually do. So this year I decided to take my social media more seriously and uh, really uh, decide on a theme and take YouTube more seriously because I don't know, I just have a calling for it and I tried to do it multiple times and it just like, it felt weird. This time it just feels very natural and I feel like this is something that I want to do and I just really want to see how good I can be or how bad I can be with, you know, social media marketing. I have a little bit of experience of that but I just really want to see if I can implement anything of what I know in my you know on my platforms basically deciding on like my Instagram theme was very hard because I like it so so much but I watched a webinar about creating your page and I think I decided on the theme although I like you know vegan food and I like nature and talking about animals and a little bit like you know this passive activism I think the main page for my Instagram will be fashion and like my outfits and uh, makeup and then everything that has to do with veganism nature cats for example or witchcraft or you know magic and spirituality that just can go in a carousel like of the photos or direct to the stories so now a little bit about what i actually do so i have digital zine that is called wild fang zine and i also have two other instagram pages one is creative freedom and another one it is my castle so creative freedom is about art and art journaling and i recently created a separate youtube page for that and then i also have it is my castle which is about spoken word and poetry and haiku and all of these pages were abandoned for some time so i made a decision to actually work on those platforms the hardest part is that with current instagram algorithm uh when you come back on this platform no matter how many tags you put you get like not so many likes and this is honestly very devastating you have to be like super active on the platform so wild thing zane is like this platform for artists musicians people who don't get a lot of attention or don't have a big platform kind of uh, but it's also a collaboration with artists who inspire me and it's user generated content and it's a little bit hard right now first of all because it's user generated content i need submissions and <laughs> submissions are pretty low so i spend a lot of time just researching looking for the uh, images that i like contacting people communicating with them and so for now it works but my goal is just to create content for two weeks for both it is my castle and the wild thing zane it is my castle it's completely i don't want to say unique but it's original all the images are taken from the internet usually like 90 percent of the times and then quotes are mine and i don't really have issues with creating that it's just a matter of uploading those images and then for creative freedom it's also a matter of just taking photos uh, using hashtags and uploading them yesterday i worked on creative not creative freedom it is my castle i created like five or six images so that's good creative freedom i have all the notebooks i just need to take photos so today we're going to do that but yeah right now i just want you to see again my agenda and my plan for wild things in. this is my to-do list for today first is to check any jobs any work that there can be and i usually do that every morning edit videos so i filmed yesterday a few videos i'm not sure if i'm going to use footage of one of them because that was just like a spontaneous video but uh, i definitely have to edit one of them today 
and this is a plan for wild things in so it's kind of messed up so this week i'll just be very free with that um but next week this will be the plan so monday it's smooth board and a like a repost of someone's photo uh tuesday music outfit and maybe a statement wednesday movies quotes and photography thursday i mean you can see it for yourself but this is something that i had to come up with yesterday and this is actually very helpful uh this way i won't have issues with you know okay what i have to post but this week it will be uh free because i already have some content for this week and on instagram if i like something i just save it but then I go for saved and uh, I have two folders called this week and next week. So this week is for photos that I want to repost this week and next week is something that I want to repost next week. I will leave all the links for like all my platforms below so that you can check it out yourself and follow and see if you can contribute and submit your art. It would be very, very good great actually i would be very thankful for that this is my little setup you're yeah, editing this video so right now i'll be busy with that finally edited the video now i will rewatch it and cut all this um you know phrases like i just said um because this is very annoying it's probably because i didn't film for so long and i felt very awkward and i was so so nervous it just like so long so my goal is to make it 20 minutes right now we'll see if i'll be able to do that it's lunch time so it's a salad it looks like a lot but it's not and plus i eat two times a day and i'm going to watch sailor moon so i'm in the process of editing the video it actually goes well what i learned is that my favorite phrase is you know and mm, or uh so i love saying that a lot and this is just insane i cut off so many you know phrases it's just really insane i literally talk like you know I like, you know, blue, you know, color, you know, this is really, really annoying. But right now I'm taking a break, you know, and I'm going to take photos that I need for Instagram. And then I'm going to take some uh, photos for Creative Freedom. And this is basically so-called outfit. The shirt was thrifted and those earrings, I made them myself. So I think I got a photo. It's really hard because if you have not noticed, I don't live in the influencer apartment. I do have like yellowish walls, but everything, I mean like furniture is everywhere. So it's pretty hard, but I have this wall and for makeup, I usually sit on my couch. So it's pretty hard to work with that, especially when you have just so much space and when you don't have anyone to actually help you with. So yeah, but I think I got a few good photos right now. We're going to take photos for creative freedom and I'm excited for that because you'll see my journals. So it's almost 8 p.m. and I finally edited this video. I think it's saved right now. Oh my god, that was just honestly so exhausting. I was working on that the whole day. Video is edited. Twitter, I worked on it. YouTube, kind of worked on it. Uh, Facebook Creative Freedom, I did it. This is the final product. I don't know if I'll need it. I might actually delete it because I really i'm confused like which platform should i use for the things that i work on this is twitter for wild things in so this also has to be changed I, I just uploaded it for for now because i don't like when it's empty but this is twitter well i'm the only follower right now but follow please good morning um today the second day of our productive day of becoming an influencer. No, I'm kidding. This is my outfit for filming for today. I'm not sure if I did the right choice with the earring. And I want to show one photo that I really like. And I think this is something that I will be able to recreate. So yesterday I found this photo uh, on... I don't remember where. But I like it so much. I think this is something that will be very easy to recreate. I don't have a uh, blue background, but I have blue eyeshadows and lemons. So I really want to do that. I love photos where people recreate, I don't know, Kendall Jenner's Instagram, Kylie Jenner's, whatever. 
I think this is just so interesting and I was always into that because some of those poses are just so easy. So I want to try to do that today, we'll see how it goes. But right now I'm going to start filming videos for my YouTube channel. Well, I filmed three videos, so I'm very very happy. I think it went way better. So I'm just getting like in this... I don't know how to call it, but basically I kind of figured it out how to film and how to avoid this famous phrase, you know. It is very annoying to say that multiple times, so this is honestly very good. And I am in another jacket. I filmed a few things that I bought at the thrift store because one of those videos is about thrifting. So right now, I think I'll take photos of my outfit in this red jacket and then I'll start working on editing the videos. I have to be very creative with my backgrounds. I really don't have much space and this is very, very annoying. But we have to work with what we have basically. With the different outfit, I'm kind of exhausted. I recreated some photos, but I'm not going to show them in this video. I'm actually going to make a separate video about it because it's just ridiculous. I really want to work on It Is My Castle and Wild Things In. So during my break, I watched Carmen San Diego. It was actually super interesting. After that, I started working on my blog and Pinterest. I use Canva for that. I really love it, I think, for free. And they have so many different tools and so many different illustrations and images to use. It's very interesting. It was my first time creating Pinterest graph and it's really, really easy. I didn't know that and I really enjoy that. It was also very, very quick because Canva has so many different photos and templates. Then I worked on It Is My Castle. I already had a little text. Basically, I typed the text that I wanted to be on the image. And after that, I worked on my video again. So I think I'll finish my vlog right here. I think you could grasp a little bit of my day-to-day -day life and see what people actually do or at least what I do in order to create my content and how I try to make it better on a daily basis. Right now I'll just keep editing the video, I will work on my blog and after that I'll probably go back to my book of shadow or my spirituality journal and try to work on that. So I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you could see that you still can create and make your life more creative even if you don't have this IKEA furniture, apartment or a house or beautiful backgrounds or a good camera. But in general, what I'm trying to say with this vlog is you can be creative no matter what because there are so many outlets and so many things that can help you to be more creative. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you liked it obviously. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!